Good morning everyone and happy Monday. My name is Dawn and this channel is Dawn Does Keto. This channel is all about my accountability and my personal journey on the ketogenic diet. If you are new here, we are doing a 30 day challenge of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, and we are starting week three today. Along with that challenge, I have committed to doing a video every single day in the month of January. So that's why you're seeing a lot of videos from me. I'm getting ready to start my day. I'm heading over to help my mother-in-law with my father-in-law this morning, and she also has calling hours to go to. So I'm going to be over there a little bit longer sitting with my father-in-law while she goes to the calling hours that she wanted to attend. But before I head out, I just wanted to let you guys know real quick what I'm taking with me on the road to eat today. So I have my fat coffee, always. I've already taken my Keto Chow electrolyte tablet. I have two bottles of water, which I've already put the Keto Chow electrolyte drops inside of, so those are ready to go. I have two hard boiled eggs. I have a half an ounce of salt and vinegar pork rinds. I have one baggy bacon, and I also stuck in five of the butter bites. I just kind of stuck them in the bag with those. So that's it, and we will see you guys later. So I just left my mother and father-in-laws. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, and I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> so I'm just now breaking my fast. I'm starving. We had anticipated her being home closer to 1.30, so I didn't think that I would have to wait quite so long, but that probably means we may have to push dinner back a little bit. Even though we try to eat by seven, if I'm eating now, I probably won't be ready to eat again at seven. So we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, we're eating a little bit outside of our window tonight. As I told you earlier, I didn't break my fast till almost three o'clock, and now it's just about eight. We got about 10 minutes. Wow, you went to three o'clock? Yeah, Holy I didn't start cow. working until three. I didn't leave your mom and dad's till That's then. nuts. Yeah, so. I, could, I barely made it to noon before I broke mine. I was so <laughs> hungry, but I waited. It was just like, I, I gotta eat. So tonight we are just having some egg life wraps with hamburger meat and some of Hungry Heath's taco seasoning. So just a couple mm. tacos here. We each got three. That uses up a whole package of the Egg Life wrap, so. We are officially halfway through. Officially halfway through. We've been talking about it for days about the 16th at lunchtime would be halfway through. And I meant to text you today and tell you that, but we both worked later than we wanted to tonight. Uh, tonight's a, a night where I dash as well. Because of her late start and because I only have a few hours in the evening when I work, we both have goals that we want to hit. So we try to get as close to those goals as we can. And, and that's the reason why we're eating so late tonight. Are they too spicy for you? They're a little warm. <laughs> I like spicy, Mike doesn't, and this taco seasoning is a little bit spicy, but yeah. it's but it's clean, so But I mean it's it's still warming the back of my throat and my tongue. So, yeah, I don't I like mild spice, so uh, anything that's above and beyond mild in most cases is not enjoyable for me. And this is borderline unenjoyable. Uh, I think they're delicious. Is there anything else we need to talk about before we jump into the book? Unless you want to know what I had for lunch today because I didn't really have a lunch today. What did you have for lunch? So normally I take leftovers from the night before to lunch, you know, to work for lunch the next day. And uh, we didn't have any leftovers last night. So I told him we could make hamburgers, but he said he doesn't want hamburgers. No, I've had enough hamburger patties for a, a few days. So I opted to do what I used to do, which is take a couple beef sticks and I took some barbecue pork rinds and I took a baggy bacon and I made that my lunch. Probably wasn't enough especially what I'm used to doing here recently as far as filling me up, but it was enough to get me through the day and not feel hungry or be feeling run down or anything. So it worked It worked for one day. If I do that every day, I'll probably start feeling bad again. But I won't feel as bad as my tongue does right now with this hungry heat stuff <sighs> burning the back of my tonsils. <laughs> I guess I'll eat the rest of the hamburger meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did shave. Oh yeah, doesn't he look so much younger? And so... Yeah, the gray is gone here, now up here. And what little bit I have left up there, yeah. 
I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, and so you'll usually see, after you'll you get your hair cut, it's it looks less. It look a little. It look a little better. Yeah. I keep trying to talk them into getting that just for men, where you just like wash it, and it's like a real gradual. It just takes some of the gray out. Yeah. No, I like the uh, sophisticated gray look. Some people have really pretty gray hair. Yeah, I, I think your gray. I hair. don't think that my gray would be pretty because it, it's not like. Like, my mom's hair is white. Yeah. And I don't think it would be like that. It'd be just more like a little bit of gray, like salt and pepper. And I just, for me, I don't know. I just don't think it would look good. Guys like myself, we get to this point where I'm at, a lot of guys just shave their head. I'm not shaving it yet. I'm not ready for that because I can't imagine myself. But he has the solar panel going oh, on. Oh, yeah, I definitely have the solar panel. But I can't imagine myself being completely bald yet. Even though, just looking at myself in the camera... I see more scalp than I care to admit. <laughs> so as you could probably tell by the title of this video, today's chapter in Dr. Barry's book is Salt of the Earth. So we're talking about salt. Now I know in the keto space, we now know that salt isn't shouldn't be demonized the way that it has been, that actually we demonized the wrong white substance. It should have been sugar and not salt right. all along. Did you make that up on your own? No, I've heard it before. That's pretty cool. Never heard that. Yeah, I've heard it. Somebody else said it. I can't tell you who, but I can't take credit for it. But that being said, you know, Dr. Barry says that all mammals crave salt. And if you put a salt lick out, like a cow will go towards it. You know, our body needs salt. It's actually when we're eating salt and a ton of carbs that it can be worse for you. But Dr. Barry doesn't even mention the carbs. He doesn't even talk about salt and carbs. He just says that all the studies now show that salt does not contribute to heart disease. It does not contribute to high blood pressure. It does not contribute to diabetes. Like all the things that salt has been blamed for right. all these years. And a lot of medical doctors are finally starting to come around, but some of them still have not gotten up to date with the research. And just to touch on that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I have too much sodium. It causes bloating or inflammation or there's a whole plethora of things that I've heard people say, oh, you got to cut sodium. You eat too much sodium. Oh, you're going to have a heart attack. Mm. But the reality is not only do you need it, but if you eat more than you, know, you, need. Than you necessarily need, as long as you have healthy kidneys... Mm -hmm. and you drink plenty of water, water is important no matter what, right? You got to have water. But as long as you have those two parts to the equation, your body will flush out the salt that it doesn't it, need. It'll get rid of the excess salt. Right. There's really no reason not to use it. So there's a couple studies that he quoted in here. There was a 2003 study that says there's little evidence for long-term benefit from reducing your salt. And in 2006, the American Journal of Medicine recorded that the salt intakes of more than 70 million Americans and compared it to their risk of dying from heart disease over a 14-year period. The study found that the people who ate more sodium were less likely to die from heart disease. So it actually gave the opposite results of what they would have thought. And then the American Journal of Hypertension included a study of more than 8,000 participants and the results reflected that salt had virtually no impact on blood pressure. The issue with salt, if you want to call it an issue, is like a lot of other things. Is It's what you eat it with. And if you have a high carb intake and you eat a lot of salt. You're more likely to hold on to it. That's when it stays in the body. And that's when it becomes problematic and makes your blood pressure go if up. If you've been in the keto space for any time, though, you know how important it is to have salt. And that's why we take electrolytes is for the sodium. So at the end of each chapter, Dr. Barry gives you some books if you want to do more research on a specific subject. And at the end of this chapter, he did talk about the book, The Salt Fix. I'll put the name of the author on the screen because I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But I've heard of that book before and I've heard that if you have any questions or you question, you know, the amount of salt that you're eating, that that's a great book to read. I've heard that from several people. So anyway... We're going to keep on salt in our food. That's right. Because you know what? I, I find this nonsense about cutting back your salt and not eating enough salt or it's going to cause this. Or it's going to, I just find that insulting. Anyway, guys, we are actually going to just kind of wrap this video up early tonight. Tonight is a playoff game for 
the Dallas Cowboys. And if you don't know, Mike is a huge Cowboys fan. So this is kind of an important game. So we want to be able to just like sit down. Obviously, I'm going to have to edit this video, but we want to have the game on and just relax but a little bit. But you can multitask, so you'll be fine. Yeah. I hope you all have a great night. This is the end of day 16. We are officially over the hump. We are on the downward slide and it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. Yep. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Yep. Have a good evening. Go Cowboys!